on today's episode. Got a big race this coming Saturday. Got Dodge City round three of the Arena Cross series. And man, I'm not feeling too good, people. And it's not that I'm not feeling good about the race. It's that physically, I think I'm getting sick. I thought it was allergies. You can kind of hear it in the last video. Towards the end of the video, I'm like clearing my throat and like <clears throat> heavy breathing. It's been on and off. I didn't know I thought it was allergies, but this morning it hit me. Last night it actually hit me. I had to take NyQuil. This morning I woke up, sore throat. We did ride yesterday. We went to Dodge City. I got to test out the little mini track a little bit. It was a little wet and soggy out there. There's no telling what's gonna happen this Saturday for round three, but uh, I plan on going still, even if I'm sick. I gotta do an oil change to this thing. I gotta wash it. My power washer's broke. My chain finally stretched a little bit. I gotta adjust that. So with that said, oh, look at these boots. Oof. All right, let's go shopping. Let's start our adventure at Walmart. Got a few stops to make. I know you guys like going shopping with me. I'm a little foggy brain, but let's see if we can accomplish something. Slaco 81 team HRC doesn't sleep. You know what I'm saying? We don't miss, even if we're sick as a dog, we don't miss races. Definitely start with a couple of these. I come here to get things like car wash. Actually, that one's too expensive. This one's half the price. It's the only thing I ever run in any of my bikes right here. 4T for wet clutch. Just need one. Definitely need some of those for the garage. Storms are definitely coming. It's getting windy and cool. Let's go to Lowe's. We need a pressure washer. Tis the season. Look at this bad mofo. It's got no way. <laughs> Thing's huge, bro. Look here, I'm gonna stand next to it. Oh, man. <laughs> It's always hard to find everything in these stores. You'd think pressure washers are with like the electric and craftsman tools and stuff. A little foggy brain. I don't know what I'm doing. Pretty sure I'm gonna find everything except for the power washer that I need. Chainsaws, we got tillers, we got everything but power washers. Maybe outside? Oh, I'm like sweating. <laughs> I think we're on to something, folks. That's it. I finally found the one thing that I need, and guess what? It's completely locked up. You gotta be kidding me. Now I gotta go find an employee. <laughs> this is the one I want, it's a hundred bucks. We'll try it. You guys, the employee can't even open up the lock. He went to go get help. I could probably just squeeze it out this way. <laughs> I'm making some progress. The guy had to walk me with the pressure washer to the register too. Like there must be a hot market for these things. Never thought I'd be that guy. <laughs> All right, fam, it's the next day. It's uh, Thursday, I think. Yo, day cool, night cool, man. Y'all had to buy this. Lady at the register had to check my ID. Good news is the sore throat's gone. Bad news is it's turned into more of a runny nose and a cough. So work to be done. Races to be won. Yo, by the way, super approved. 100 bucks. Comes with a little sudser joint. So we got it cleaned up and uh, basically I'm gonna drop the oil out of it. You know, since it's got a few hours on that new clutch, we're gonna get rid of the oil. Oil looks good, but I'm still gonna drop it out. Um, I'm gonna try to fix this seat. I think a few staples pulled out from all the hole shots. And then uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, this is too loose. I wanna get this a little bit tighter, a little bit too loose. So uh, got about five hours on the bike. It's probably ready to be retorqued anyway. So let's get at it. Oil doesn't look too bad. Fired up. Oil change is done. I even cleaned out my little hose there that was bothering me. Let's see what else we can do. Okay, I got the chain slack tightened up a little bit. Remember, not too tight. Boy, look how clean that chain is. Woo-wee. 
That's what's up. All right, kind of got the seat fixed up a little bit better with the staples, but I noticed this, so we're gonna go in that air box next. Oh yeah, we'll definitely clean all that out and uh, take out that air filter too and clean it, re-oil it. Yeah, I'd say that's definitely much cleaner. We got the freshy twin air in there, looking nice and oiled up, ready to race. No, yeah, for sure. That's definitely way better. No more wrinkles, but we'll see how long that lasts. Next up is gonna be this issue. I don't like where these fall on their own. I use a big socket that fits on here, so I have to break off the bars um, and then just loosen the bottom ones. You don't wanna loosen the top ones. And then you gotta get in there and tighten that bad boy and then tighten everything back up to torque. All right, so it's way better now. You can push it and it moves, but it stops. It doesn't go all the way down like before. So a little more resistance there, not too much, not too little. That's perfect. It's exactly where you want it. I'm gonna let it run, check the oil level, and then uh, we're gonna be done in here for the day. Oh, 5 a.m. Glad I didn't watch that crappy fight last night. That thing's scripted as can be. If it ain't UFC, it ain't for me. Time for coffee. Race day. 42 degrees out. That guy. We're all loaded up, ready to go. I loaded up last night. Being it's 42 degrees outside, figure we'll try this. This is a first, so it's a nice 65 degrees in here. It's time to hit the road. Just got to throw 20 bucks in the factory rig. All my sponsors, shout out. Definitely got to get the Starbucks morning coffee hit. Oh, yeah. That's probably the best thing I've drank all week. Woo. All right, let's hit the road. Let's talk about this race. Okay, so this race, round three, Dodge City. It's a weird one because it's outdoors. It's not in a convention center, and um, it definitely is out of place for the whole series, being the only one that's more of an outdoor race. The goal for today is, uh, I mean, a podium would be nice, a top five would be great, but anything to finish the race is good enough for me. I'm just trying to uh, not miss any races. I'm definitely foggy-brained. Um, I feel better overall as far as my cold goes, but I'm still stuffy. And uh, all this day cool, night cool has got me a little loopy and dizzy. <laughs> it's on the small outdoor track. The main event's at five o'clock. It's gonna have the lights on. It's gonna be dark out, but it should be pretty cool. It should be packed there today. I rode the small track earlier this week. I gotta tell you, it's it's for a big bike. It's to me, it's difficult to just get out there and clear every double. Um, maybe I'm wrong about that, but I think that'll reflect today in a way a lot of people ride the track. And at the same time, I think that it's a great track for pit bikes or kids, little bikes, uh, ATVs, uh, especially pit bikes. But uh, we're going to go out there and do what we can do today. My biggest concerns is my breathing and how I'm feeling overall. I'm definitely hurting, but I can tell you what to expect. Here's what you can expect. Practice, I'm just going to bob around the track. Qualifiers, depending on how many people are signed up. If it's under 10, I'm just gonna qualify any gate position I can get. I'm gonna save all my energy for the main events, which will be Lights D and Open D again, of course. Ooh, we hitting some fog now. All right, folks, here we are. Good old Dodge City. A few minutes early. And uh, let's see if the gates are open. I'm gonna try to park way down by the staging area. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so a lot of people are parked over there. I'm thinking of parking just right here. I might pull the truck in a little differently, but they got this blocked off. This is where the staging will be. So they got it groomed pretty good. Definitely got rid of all the water. It's just multi-tier. Goes left and right all the way to the top. You got your finish line. So it looks like there's 19 or 18. There's nine and nine gate drops. So, all right. So yeah, I'm going to walk the track a little bit. It's definitely soft. But the rest of the track looks pretty good. Should break in really nice. It's definitely gonna have some ruts at some point. The good news is, is it shouldn't be too dusty then. And then if it does become dusty, they can water it. The jumps are pretty big. They got little lips to them. So what I was trying to say is if you're clearing this double the double, I mean, you're, you're a good rider. <laughs> They're all pretty user friendly though. So you got one, two, three, four, pretty much five to six rows. It's just all uphill and downhill. So. It's very different than your typical arena cross. Anyway, uh, Tyler's here, Logan's on his way. I think Ethan and Justin are on the way. So I just met these guys over here. So it should be a pretty big, big hit. Um, from what I'm being told, there's gonna be a big turnout. So this is gonna be a tough race. This is why I like to get here early because you just get the best spots. I mean, yeah, you gotta wait a little bit, but it's fine. Everybody's on their way. You guys, Logan's kickstart's missing. He thinks it fell off on the throughway somewhere. So they're asking around 
see if uh, someone's got an extra kickstarter. We ain't finding it. Yeah, probably. Uh, lacerated liver, lacerated kidney. Uh, he, he, he needs some prayers. I'm doing the riders meeting from a distance. We can hear him now. So we're about to go into practice. Logan's bike is running. We got him going. We got Tyler. First time racing. All right, well, I'll do a couple laps for practice and then I'll cut it off. I overshoot a jump, which you're gonna see in a little bit, but uh, at least this way you get to see the track layout a little bit. Hang on to your seats. Oh. Yeah, right on schedule, Justin makes an appearance. <laughs> there he goes. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, clear <clue> that one. <laughs> So I stayed in the practice the whole time, but for the sake of time, we're gonna call it at that. Enough of that. Okay, right, so practice went better than I thought. I was able to, I was able to hang in there for the whole thing. So uh, it was pretty fun. There's a lot of guys for D class. Poor Logan's bike started overheating at the start, so he didn't get the practice. But it ain't over yet. We're gonna keep this thing going. We'll see uh, how it goes. We're gonna start the heat soon. We're race uh, number three and race number twelve. 13 and 14 people i think so uh or 13 and 16 people so they're gonna do like the anthem i don't know what's going on but we're gonna just jump in there and race what up though Yo, is this a good spot here is this a good spot hang on to your shorts Well guys, we'll skip through it. Um, not much to see, no crashing. I just basically treated it like another practice. We all qualified, so we all make it to the main event either way. 
Um, so I was just bobbing around, not even really trying. We'll get to the end, no action. All right, guys, that was pretty gnarly. Turn one, it got taken out. I think the guy's handlebars were stuck. My swing arm, I don't know. Definitely hit the dirt pretty hard. Definitely got a scratch inside this inner leg here, so. It is what it is. Luckily, that was a heat. So we got another heat, and then we got a couple of mains. All right, got lights, D, heat. I think there's like 16 people. What up there? Hey, what up? Good luck out there. <laughs> hey. Hang on to your shorts, this is a wild one. All right, guys, you can see I did not go for the whole shot, and I'm glad I did not go for it because I would have clearly been hit by the guys to my right, which was Tyler and Justin, by the way. Let's stay in it. Let's see what I can do. That was Ethan on the ground back there. Not sure what happened, but. Here we got Tyler in front of me. He's doing really good. First time racing. But uh, I think we get him in the last lap. Let's see.
I got this pretty gnarly. I don't know what place I got in for that, but I was definitely eating a bunch of dirt. Got roosted on, but I think we did pretty good. Out of 16 riders, I'm guessing seventh place, sixth place maybe, we'll see. These quads are crazy. Oh, oh these guys are nuts. We got the Chef Boyardee. So here's how it goes. Open D, heat. I got 10th place, and it's because I got taken out in the first turn. Uh, lights D. Out of 14 people, I got 8th place, which is awesome. I'll take 8th place all day long. You'll notice that I backed off on the gate. I wasn't getting taken out again. I'm going to do that every single time. Let them go. I'm just trying to finish a race. The biggest problem was I ate a bunch of dirt. I got roosted on so bad. I got mud in my mouth. The clay was so gross. I almost threw up in the end. But we got the main events coming up. Logan's hanging in there. We took down the tent. We're fired up. What, what place did he get? First place? First place? Oh, dude, sick. Y'all was eating dirt. Look at this. Just eating dirt, man. Eating dirt. Hey, buddy. Oh, good boy. Be in the moto vlog. Good boy. Well, guys, the sun will be setting soon. Got the main events coming up. They groom the track. Ready for more action. Just gotta survive. Live another day. Get some points. Racking some points. We can go from there. All right, guys. Main events. Open D's first. Race number three. Try to have a good strategy out there. It's cold. We got the hoodie on. It's got a rank at least halfway in the pack. So right there I made a pass on three guys I think and I end up six out of 12 people which is pretty right. good. Um, the low light sucks on the GoPro, it wasn't that bad in person so I hope you're watching in a dark room.
more. You guys, I may have gotten sixth place by some miracle. Went from last place to six out of four, out of 14 people, I think. We'll see, I gotta get the official result. Yeah, I got sixth place out of 14 riders for Open D Main. Two riders didn't make it to the gate, so it's really 12, I was right in the middle. I almost made a top five, which, hey, listen, sixth place out here, I'll take all day long. I went from dead last to sixth place. Poor Logan, he couldn't get his bike started. That happens, that's racing. He'll be uh, more diligent going forward. So all we got left next is a uh, Lights D Main. So I'm gonna play it smart at the gate again and uh, do the best we can. Sorry for the lens flare. It's cold. I gotta see these guys hit the quad. There are only four or five guys in the A class. Watch these guys get some air. Ooh. Huge. Huge. I just noticed, I think it's from that one heat. I think I got mud inside my brake lever here it went down on this side there was mud all over inside that lever that breaks a little bit tight we're gonna have to look into that when we get home but we got one more main event coming up you're gonna have to wing it yeah something's up My coming is good. get first place, get first place. Let's, go. let's go <laughs>
I'll let it play out. I get 10th place overall, but it registered as 9th. There were some issues with some transponders, um, so it is what it is. We tried the message up to fix it, so we'll take what we can get. But there's not too much going on. I just finished the race. I'll let it play out. I'd like to think that those ladies screaming back there were cheering for me, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Guys, we're getting out of here. There's uh so sixth place in the main for open D and either ninth or tenth, maybe eighth, I don't even know for lights D. There's a lot of discrepancies, a lot of issues. Uh we use transponders, so we're gonna have to kind of wait for final results, I think, later. Uh e either way, I wasn't last, I wasn't first. I kind of knew this going into it. A lot of local guys here that just know how to rip this course up. So the idea was just to come in here and uh place uh somewhere in the middle, which is kind of what I did without getting hurt, and uh, it's time to get home. So I'm happy with the results. Uh, let's, let's get out of here. Well guys, there's not too much to say. Um, I did exactly what I wanted to do given the circumstances of the Dodge City race. Um, you know, it's one of those tracks where I'm gonna go back and actually practice on it. I didn't really care for the small track, but after riding it all day yesterday, um, I could see how if you spend some time on it, you can definitely clear all those doubles and get really good at it, which, you know, a lot of the local guys over there, a lot of guys that ride that track were at the races last night. So it was a good time. I finished. I didn't get hurt. I got some points in there. So I'm pretty happy with it overall. Definitely still feeling the effects of having my head cold, but I'm getting better. Today's actually the first day I didn't take any medicine. I was actually on day cool the whole day yesterday, um, but I was feeling better yesterday. So hopefully I didn't get anyone sick, but we got four weeks before the next arena cross race so we got some time but the vlogs must go on so a bunch of us uh, plan on putting some track days together cash bros dodge city mcclarity's a bunch of places um we're probably gonna do some ohv trails also uh, get the endurance built up keep working on conditioning and definitely got to get rid of this cold it was a super fun day yesterday regardless you know I've been meeting a lot of really cool people at these races people that share the passion for the competitive side of racing it's really like the most fun thing i like to do now i like i like racing more than just going like hitting trails or hitting a track or something like that but we have no choice and i gotta vlog every week so we're gonna keep hitting the tracks in the meantime we're gonna practice uh, we're gonna get everybody dialed in tyler did a great job um, I feel bad for Logan. His Kickstarter fell off. He couldn't restart. So things happen. That's racing. That's how it goes. But hey, man, it's cool that he's trying. So 
We'll see where we're at. So if I'm doing the averaging right for open D, I'm about third place overall out of the three races. And for lights D, I'm either fourth or fifth overall. And that's only because of Dodge City being difficult and me laying off the you know, throttle and taking it easy because I you know, wasn't really breathing right. So it is what it is. And uh, we're gonna move forward. We got eight more races to the series, lots of time. So I'm not even worried about it. I'm still happy overall. Um, so we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.